Hello. My name is Takaya Blaney. My ancestral name is Jigajimuch. I am from the Tla'alman Nation, a Coast Salish nation located 100 miles north of Vancouver, BC. Um, as an indigenous youth, I'm, I'm involved in protecting, protecting climate, protecting lands, protecting waters, because I recognize that the impacts of climate change will be felt not only within my generation, but first and foremost on my lands. When we talk about a climate apocalypse, it's also important to recognize that we as indigenous people have been surviving an apocalypse since first contact, a complete destruction of our environments and disconnection uh, between, between us and our right to subsist off of our territories. Um, for indigenous communities and indigenous young people who are on the front lines of climate change who exist on ground zero for extractive industry and for climate impact, it is important to center these voices, and not just center these voices, but be critical about how we center these voices. Because I see in these spaces, um, coming, coming from, from frontline efforts, people on the ground don't know what's happening here. People on the ground aren't aware of the resources that people in this room are connected to. I, I traveled here with youth from the Unistoten camp. Unistoten earlier this year was raided by militarized police. Um, unarmed indigenous water protectors were, were brutalized. And, and the, the youth there who are maintaining those front lines they need to be in these rooms, and they need to, to their voices to be uplifted. They need to not just be invited here to, to, to sing or, or engage in a tokenistic way, um, but we, we need f front lines, and we need higher, higher levels of, of, of change. We need them to intersect, because I, I don't really see them meaningfully intersect at this point. And I'd also like to recognize that this panel is, is um, all Indigenous women, and that's also a very powerful thing. We need Indigenous women voices here. So I'm going to share the Woman's Warrior song. And this is a song to honor missing and murdered Indigenous women, um, because that is also a casualty of climate change. When you have um, settler men coming into our territory and our, our women go missing as a result of construction, as a result of desecration against our earth.